Today, we stand at the edge of the abyss. We make an abyss. We're going to make a crawfish and shrimp abyss. It is going to be delicious. And step one, saute the onions and peppers and celery. Nona Snowden Cooks. The goal is to amuse you and help you keep your family fed. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to saute one whole onion. Oh, and I have already put about a quarter of a cup of the good goat butter in there. All right, there we go. I got three stalks of celery. And Nono had brought these little funky looking peppers, so we're using them up. And now, all we're doing with this at this point is just sauteing these vegetables until they are cooked through. About a handful of garlic. My dang jar of garlic. I can stick my hand in it if I want to. Hmm. And let me think. All right, I'm putting some mushrooms in here too. And we are still sauteing. It is not done sauteing yet. Mm -mm, it smells delicious already. Now, I'm going to add some stuff to it, and I'm going to add some Cajun powder. This is good stuff right here. Probably about a quarter of a cup would be my guess. And I'm going to add some of Mr. Dan Pastorini's garlic and herb, because you know I like that. Some Uncle Polly's good salt. Let's stir this up real good real quick. Okay. Now, y'all come look up in here in this, in this pot real quick. Um, the muddy tomato paste is going in there. All right. Let's see if we can do this without getting it all up and down the cabinet. Normally, we can't. And we're going to brown the paste a little bit, too. And I may need to add a little flour to this in the not too distant future. It's just going to depend. I'm going to see how it firms up, if it gets good and thick for me or not. Now we're going to add some of the heavy whipping cream, this whole thing. And we'll see how it firms up. We'll see how it thickens up. And I do need some chicken broth. Thank you, dear. So I'm put this whole thing of chicken broth in there too. We aren't putting in the shrimp or the crawfish until the very last second because they had already got cooked at the crawfish ball that Leah and Matt went to. So they don't need to cook. They just need to go in there. And we're going to get this rolling. All right, guys. Now, this is not thickening up like I would want it to. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a tablespoon of the flour and maybe two of them. I'm going to say a cup of milk with two tablespoons of flour. Just kind of making a paste. And uh, this will thicken this up. Okay, there we go. And now I know that a lot of this, you would puree it and make it all creamy and everything. I'm not doing that. That is not how I do it. Uh, so this is thickening up good now. And now I'm going to put these crawfish in it. Uh, we got crawfish. We got shrimp. Uh, what else have we got? We got mushrooms. We got some andouille. Well, there's a potato. We're going to throw that in. And there you go. Now we will see how this comes out. Come on in here and take a good look. Got andouille, got taters, got shrimp, got crawfish. Let me take a quick sip and see if we need to add anything else to it. Because we might. Yeah, we definitely need a little more hot sauce. We're going to throw some hot sauce in there. Louisiana hot sauce. Uh, we're going to throw some more Tony's in there, too. And I would guess that's a couple of tablespoons. And there we go. Now all we're doing is heating the, the already cooked shrimp and crawfish up just to heat it through. 
There it is. Come look. Cook. Skydive. Have fun. Give back.